Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So today we still have a couple of construction projects that we would like to continue and finish if we can as well, please. Oh dear, those beavers are walking. Uh, you guys were supposed to go from the top, but okay, never mind. We're just going to get quite a few contaminated beavers, it seems. But okay, um, yeah, what we were saying is we, we're going to try and complete this wall over here. And you might, yes, notice that, uh, well, it's it's not going to really hold anything. And that is okay. We are just trying to get the base of it ready or the foundation. And then there's still going to be one more additional layer. I think these ones are a bit unnecessary. I believe this is, oh, no, actually, never mind. No, it's all the same level. This is where, let me just uh, try and figure this out real quick. Yeah. So that's where... All that bad water is going to go in the future. I should probably not build them right now though. So let's pause them. I don't want to delete them because I'm probably going to forget. And then we do want to do, a, I guess, a levy over here as well. Just to make sure it doesn't go in here. I doubt it's going to go here, but you'll never know. Okay, platforms are almost done. So that is good. Another large water wheel is now done as well. And they are building the fourth one now. And then we also have a few a few last levies left in here with one triple floodgate to sort of uh, let it build up a little bit. I think we'll leave them at 2.5. That should be A-OK. -okay. Now this little peninsula that we have over here or little island. Yep, I'm uh, certain that everything is dead by now. Oh, yes, it is. But um, not to worry. We still have, um, I guess we haven't seen this one here yet now, have we? I think beavers are few days ago or maybe yeah maybe a few days ago they have finished the the last of the levees as well and uh, as we can see we are able to direct all of that bad water off the map now it is great because it means we are able to keep this water clean but unfortunately it also means that none of our large water wheels are working in here i mean the beavers haven't really been able to connect it because there's so many things to build all over the place so let's not give them too many extra things just yet now something i have noticed here is we had a bit of a flood just a minute ago and yeah the water level is pretty pretty high uh, this is probably the area where we should test out oh actually never mind we were saying that we might not need to put the water barriers in here because yeah, once we build those canals, then things might be fine. So, um, yeah, if we do another another tank, let me just hide everything like this over here, and then direct it towards off the map from here, then we should be fine. So, yeah, we can still pump some clean water out. And then um, the second thing we'll have to figure out is going to be the electricity and power, which, again, we can just put those wheels over here and then run those cables uh, through the... Through the sort of container or the reservoir here and then go sideways as well and up on the hills okay now um, i've also recently noticed that we're starting to run out of some uh, bed space which is unfortunate of course let's have a look someone has nothing to do in range oh yeah that's probably because uh hold on a second we're, we're still gonna leave you here because we have so many spare beavers talking about spare beavers we should probably pause a few of the production houses. Let's just pause three of them for the time being. Uh, water is a little lacking here, but that's fine. And then what are we building here? Another hauling post. Let's give you a high priority. Then we have one, two, three, fourth one over here. And that should be enough for this colony. Now, next, it appears we have 13 unwell beavers and nine of them, not nine of them, there's also another nine on top of them that are contaminated already well fortunately all of those decontamination ports are up and running and okay so one is healed up but we're not too worried to be honest because we have 17 spare beavers anyways now 2.9 days left so why don't we look at one uh, final thing over here oh yeah definitely want to get this built so okay uh, before we go to that one final thing let's just queue up yeah, I, I know I said we're not going to queue up anything, but uh, this is going to be quite important now, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to give you a little bit of time to to get this done. Uh, let's see what the beavers are doing right now. So whilst they have been running around, I've noticed that quite a few of them are actually pretty uh, hungry and thirsty when they get over here. They construct their things. 
So I thought maybe we should add some um, some little food stations. What do we have over here? Pine resin. Oh yeah, there's nothing. I mean, they can go to those farms, can't they? No, that has corn and eggplants. Same over here. So I guess the closest station is corn rations, eggplant rations right over here. Then um, let's do another station here as well. That's going to start making or packaging some food for us. And that's going to be algae. We can unpause you and uh, yeah, we'll give you a bit of time. Let's have a look. I'm guessing, yeah, both of you are on this little island, but that's okay. Beaver is injured and the rest is fine. So the last thing we should take a look at is the focus for this episode and that is going to be the bots. So I've gone around this uh, very interesting area over here and tried to figure out what's the best way to do things. And um, I think we have a bit of a blueprint and idea how shall we develop this city. So right now, when it's just starting out, we're going to have the basic three bot factories. And uh, with one assembler at the top like so. We don't really have the power going this way just yet, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Then, um, yeah, we're gonna... The only area that's a little bit awkward over here is, is this section. We've got the bridges, which looks pretty nice, but then they kind of have to climb up because we have to pass the power through. And, um, yeah, there's no other way to pass the power through here, is it? Not quite. So we might have to change the uh, bridges onto platforms or something else and then over here as well we've got those little uh, sort of bridges again but might just make more sense to connect them up there this road isn't necessary anymore then obviously we have some storages that we that we do need to construct in here as well probably can unpause all of these buildings now can't we and then um, yeah of course a couple of more efficient mines we don't really need them just yet and we are gonna have to figure out how do we send the beavers down there? Well, maybe it's not going to be beavers. I, I wonder if the bots can actually work in the bad tide or the bad water. But I guess we'll see. And the next thing that we have here is our bad water discharge is almost complete. We're just going to unpause this uh, yet again. We are missing 44 metal, but we do have 92 in the bank right now. So it uh, should be fine. Okay, quick uh, progress check. It appears things are not too far from completion which is great okay so that didn't take too long it appears the bad water discharge is finally complete let's have a quick look at this again we're gonna lock you up for a second now all that water should still be flowing out providing us with some power but nothing else seems to be coming out from here i don't think we care about this too much right now other than getting the power so so yeah, that's very cool. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. I do want to see what happens during droughts as well. I think it was saying that, yeah, it maintains bad water flow during droughts. So free energy over there for, for sure. Quite a lot of notifications, but that's okay. We can uh, get rid of this one over here. Building lacks materials. So you don't have mushrooms, but I'm pretty sure there's some growing over here. It just takes a very long time, isn't it? Okay, so I've given a quick a higher priority for a couple of buildings over here, just to get things moving. And then the uh, next thing that we should really do is let's just remove this link here for a quick second and swap you out with this one. All right, we've got a D junction in there. Power is not flowing through just yet, but uh, it, it's got the highest of priorities, so hopefully it will get done fairly fairly soon now let's give you a slightly better access over here as well just a bit of a shortcut now um we are gonna need a bit more storage around this area and um the, there is this tiny little canal over here i was thinking of filling it up but then again i don't think we really need that well we can still put some water in from the from the side in here but for the time being i think what might be a little bit more useful is if we place a couple of storages over here could even stack them up like so but that means we are going to need a few few platforms all right and the bad tide is finally over ladder over here as well and i'll be honest i'm not a huge fan of road systems like this i could probably change this around by flipping those buildings but that is going to cost us what is it 30 scrap 20 gears and 50 planks. I guess it might be fine, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, scrap metal, we've still got quite a bit. Oh, yeah, we should probably resume the operations in here as well. 22 
Spare jobs is what we have. Oh, wow. Okay, power is lacking over here. That is going to be fixed very, very quickly. Power, this one, materials as well. Uh, mushrooms, coffee. Okay, fine. Nothing to do in range. Well, that is understandable as well. Because you guys are going to have to climb in and uh, start replanting pretty much everything, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Now, contamination is 13 and 10 are unwell. So maybe we just wait a little bit before we let them climb climb in there again. Okay, pause these buildings as well. The harvesting stations, one more. 17, okay. I think everyone's, yeah, probably pumping out water. So what's happening over here? When the bad water or bad tide ends, we are still going to contaminate this area but it's not going to be as bad. Oh dear, I think we do have a bit of a problem over here. Half the colon is now flooded. Let's see what might be the the cause of this. Um, well, if you guys are closed, why don't we open you up just for a little bit again. And then you've opened up, but nothing's... Oh, okay, so for, for some reason these gates did not open here. Well, let's get them going again. It's going to start producing us some power. We do finally have the uh, shafts in place as well. And uh, let's have a quick look. So 5,000 hamster power, which is pretty uh, pretty respectable. And that is not too full. We could probably drop it or lift it up to 0 0.5. Okay, is that... Yep, it does seem... Oh no, not all of it. Never mind, I think everything is now saved. So that's good. Uh, over here as well, if you don't want to let all of that water go this way, we could probably lift them up. Actually, we do want to lift it up, yeah. Because we do want this water to go into into the rest of the, the lake instead to get rid of all that bad water. So I think for that purpose... Oh yeah, we've already built a couple of you here, haven't we? Okay, so... Let's see if we can delete these ones. And now you are 0 0.5. That should allow the water to escape that way as well. And we can probably mirror this on the opposite side. Right, so there we go. We got a couple of the pot factory parts all already done and completed. So that is fantastic. A uh, couple of beavers are working here. So what do we need? We need gears, blanks and pot limbs. Now is the power blowing through oh yes it is right so it seems we also got our last uh, triple floodgate completed just a second ago because all this has stopped there's still more flowing through okay and everything should be kick starting any second from now uh, let's just hope it's not gonna flood this whole area here we'll probably have to keep a close eye on it but yeah, as I mentioned before as well, there's quite a few hungry and thirsty beavers. So fortunately, there isn't a lot of things left to complete in here. And I think, yeah, we, we can probably start constructing up um, these floodgates in, in here as well. So that's going to be for the bad water. And then we'll do another view somewhere over here for the the normal clean water. Another fun fact, it seemed we had a ton of unwell beavers. I think it was about 33. So most of them have turned into contaminated beavers already. And I was trying to sort of figure out what's been happening as well. And uh, yeah, it was kind of because of the floods over here. Everything was flooded. And then uh, all this contamination that just sits in here. And uh, yeah, the beavers were running through. And I think they were starting to construct maybe... Maybe some of these. No, not quite. So I'm not really sure why some of the beavers were running in this area. It's a little bit over here in this colony. And perhaps they might have been doing something here. Oh no, they have not. The last levy is already, or was already done before, I believe. And while you look at that, let's uh, get a little distracted. But we've got the power wheels all done now. Not the power wheels, the, the water wheels. Now, have we produced already some pot parts as well? Okay, so we do have one limb, it seems. What about you guys over here? You're doing limbs, you're doing pot heads. Uh, what about you? Nope, we're still constructing this one. Okay, well, that's fine. And then we'll have to get the pot assembler up and running as well. This probably means 
that somewhere in here we'll have to figure out how to do those roads a little bit more or in a more efficient way for now uh, it is gonna have to be a little bit a uh, little bit boring yeah might even do it through through here actually okay so all the wires are now in let's just make sure that all of them get constructed uh, fairly quickly we've got the factory already done but what we need is is the uh, the power lines to connect it so having 40 contaminated beavers is a little bit painful i must admit yep yeah, we have 23 beavers that don't have a home is it oh yeah these guys are homeless 44 jobs where no one is working right now and um, i mean over here i guess we just don't have enough pods could probably do a another one here which is going to be temporary fix but it's uh, better than nothing power wise we are definitely okay aren't we no we are doing really bad and why is that so that's because no water is going through this area everything is flowing through there let's close you up keep you at a 0, 0.0 okay we'll let you flow through this area hopefully kickstart the power production again and our next step is going to be adding some more pods because as we said before those sick beavers are not going to help out the colony at all so the quicker we heal them the better it is for us as well right so i think that's what we can do we can add another five pods over here and um, I was thinking, well, maybe we shouldn't destroy the link, but it, it, it's fine. We could probably do... Oh, no, we can't do one more. The connection is going to be uh, slightly interrupted, but um, not to worry. This is going to be done fairly, fairly quickly. And hopefully we get all those 43 contaminated beavers healed up in no time as well right so whilst we are waiting for the 42 beavers to heal up, we are trying to figure out how to make sure that all the beavers have a house as well so i built a couple more i don't want to see temporary but I'd, I'd like to hope so that this isn't going to be the final form of the uh, the living space in here so we'll just uh, step by step build this up and um I, I guess we'll see how it goes and uh yeah a couple of barracks and then we have large row houses here as well if we do want to place roofs on them i guess we could climb up maybe from uh, from elsewhere as well but right now it takes a little bit longer for them to be constructed because we don't have that many builders and the priority was set to these ones first all we gotta do now let's let the beavers heal up and hopefully get a few construction projects done as well it appears that our production line has some bottlenecks already and that one is the middle so for that uh, i mean we've got two over here and i think we had one in the main district as well but to make things a little bit more efficient we've planned out or planned in a couple more smelters just like so i think three of them should do the job and then in the future we can schedule in another one in here as well but things might get a little bit too busy with the with the road layouts but we'll see if we change these ones around as well things might be actually fine so first one is done we got senwi working over here already and the, the sort of good news that we have is that there's only 19 contaminated beavers left now so yeah slowly but surely we are starting to improve so uh I'll fix you up with the road you're almost done and this one will get the resources very soon as well okay so we do have a drought approaching us very soon and uh with all these metal factories going here i'm not entirely sure if um this sort of one efficient mine is gonna be enough in here i mean the recipe is right now an efficient we do have the explosives which is great and uh, yeah i'm just starting to think that um, we might need another one now for that in order to build it we are gonna have to block off uh, some of that bad water over here but there is just a lot of it everywhere now if we want to keep um, the third mine running as well yeah it's probably going to be a little bit difficult maintaining the levels of water contamination okay so um this can flow through here so that's not going to be a problem we can pull you around this area as well okay and then the last bit over here but it's the same it can just all flow through through this area so it leads me to think that we are still going to have to 
place down like a flag in here and remove some of it. I know that in the previous versions you could delete some of those ruins very easily, but it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So, um, yeah, I guess this mine is going to be our, our next one. But before we can go there, we'll have to... Oh, hold on a second. We're, we're not going to build this just yet. Yep, get out of here, Peavis. I do want to leave the slope in here. But I think we'll have to start building slowly out oh, these ones as well. Okay, let's just leave it for the time being. We don't want to have everyone getting contaminated. And uh, yeah, two unwell beavers already. I think what we'll have to do, let's just block off this area like so with a levee. So at least now they can't go in here. Unless they go through here, of course. But uh, same thing over here. We can remove this road and place a levee or temporary lockdown here. Well, good news. Our bot assembler seems to be operational now. We've got Jin Jin and Valezeth working in here. Uh, however, we don't have quite all the parts just yet now, do we? No. Okay, now another thing we should probably do is those charging stations over here in the anticipation of our first bots very, very soon. Now, where can we do them? Yeah, the annoying part is that they are going to have to be uh, connected and we'll probably want to scatter, scatter them around the area a little bit as well. Well, fortunately, we don't have any bots coming anytime soon, so let's just leave it for a little while. All right, and here we go. We have just received our first iron bot of this series. Not really sure where he's headed at right now, but um, we'll just leave him be for a little bit and let's uh, figure out some of the other problems that we do have which is no electricity in this area this is something that we are going to have to uh, probably solve uh, pretty soon what is the demand for the power over here let's have a quick look uh okay so maybe a couple of those wheels could help us out that gives us a 300 so three of them could save us however i think it's probably going to be better to pull it in from somewhere else now very quickly as well, we have also figured out how we can kind of block ourselves in a little bit so we can still operate, but to ensure that the water or the bad water still roams around this area. Actually, we can fix this up a little bit to make sure that the water goes all the way around. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be safe as well since we do have the levees in strategic locations and right now they can just slowly build this up over here and the very last link that we have to do is just remove this set of ruins from here but i think we have a bit of a plan for this as well i am going to remove this levy later we will put those stairs down and then we'll have a flag i guess um, let's do a platform right about here oh no he's probably gonna run a little bit in a different direction isn't it so we'll do the flag over here and that should be the closest set of ruins that they can devour now okay since we do have that bot that has just arrived in the colony we do need a charging station for him as well so that's gonna go over there and hopefully we can finalize how we transfer the power onto the other side as well let's just remove this from here because i think we'll uh, have to figure out kind of like a connection over here i'm not very happy how this has turned out but at the same time i do want this to be a little bit messy after all it is our scrap city where things might not be the most efficient sort of laid out I suppose. Right, so we have reached the goal for this episode which was to get some uh, extra bit of metal, get the bots and the factories going. We've got one right now but the second one is already being made over here and uh, now we just gotta figure out where those bots are going to work which I think it was gonna be this mine over here or if this one is a bit more damaging then uh, perhaps this is where you can go but that is 10,000 science points got 17 so i think we're we are fine but okay that's gonna be the end of this episode thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one <laughs>